Hey, what's going on guys? It's Eric here and today I got a brand new tutorial for you guys. I'm going to be showing you how to make your computer trust your phone or vice versa. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to show you guys how to get this done because I've been working at it for like 45 to an hour and it's just, it wasn't working out. I was trying to read forums and stuff and I finally figured it out so I'll share it with you today. Um, so first things first, you want to plug in your phone, whatever iPhone you have on in your computer. Um, and then open up iTunes. Make sure you have the latest version of iTunes. Uh, sometimes it'll work out for you if you just download the new version of iTunes and your computer is going to be able to recognize it. But for me, obviously, it didn't. Never anything easy doesn't work for me. So once you open up iTunes to check if you have the latest update, just go help check for updates and it'll let you know this is the current version. So you're good to go. Um, after that, nah, I don't want to download anything. So, um, for me last night, I was seeing library and then music playlist. I wasn't seeing my devices. There was nothing there, and I didn't understand why, because my computer was actually recognizing that I had my phone plugged in, but iTunes wasn't recognizing it. So I was, I didn't, I never had the trust message on my iPhone, and that's what you need to get your, com or get to iTunes to recognize your phone. So I'll show you how to, how to do that. So first things first, you want to open up your documents. Uh, and then go to your PC. So this is mainly for Windows 10. I mean, for uh, if you have a Mac, you're not going to have any problems because it's a Mac and an iPhone. Mm. They're both products from Apple, so I mean, you're not going to have a problem. If you're using a PC, you want to go to your documents and then hit PC. Uh, right click this PC, go to manage, and then this little screen will pop up. So what you want to do from here is go to device manager. Uh, once you click that, obviously your iPhone needs to be plugged in, so you'll have portable devices. You click the little arrow here, you see Apple iPhone, right click it, and then update driver software. So once you get to here, you want to go browse my computer for driver software, and then you want to go let me pick a list from my, from my computer. So you click that, and this is the problem. So you have this one here, that's your default one. I don't know why Windows 10... Um, has this as a default I it just doesn't work for Apple so what you want to do is you want to go have disk and then again you want to go hit browse so it'll bring you up to this what you where you want to go let's just go to this PC and then we'll scroll down you want to go to your C drive so double click on that and then you also want to go to program files and then double click on common files and then you'll see a little Apple folder here. Double click on that. And then go to mobile device support, drivers. And this is exactly what you want here. So you want to click on that. It's called USBAAPL or I64. Uh, so you want to open that. Now I won't do it because I already did it. Um, and it worked out for me, so I don't want to screw anything up. So you want to open that. And then that'll give you uh, the driver you need. So once you open that, I'll hit cancel but you would hit OK so I'll just close all of this and then basically what you need to do is just restart Apple or not Apple I mean iTunes um, you might need to unplug and replug your phone and then open your phone if you have a passcode and once you get to your home page the trust message should pop out now I know there's a lot of things out there that you can uh, you can try resetting your privacy settings and lots of stuff like that I've tried everything and this is the only thing that worked out for me and then finally as you can see uh, me it, it already worked out but I always uh, I already have my my phone here so I mean that's how you do it that's how you get Windows 10 to recognize your phone and uh, get it to trust your phone because it was one hell of a hassle and finally figured it out so I thought I'd share it with you guys if you have any questions uh, just leave it in the comment section of this video I'll do my best to uh, to answer any questions. I mean, I'm not a whiz tech, but uh, I can do, uh, I can, I guess, manage myself around technology. Uh, especially, I mean, iTunes and Windows, they, they just don't go together. But uh, yeah, so if you have any questions, leave it um, in the comment section of this video. If it did work out for you, please leave a like so that other people can find this video and then help them out as well. But uh, anyways, that's pretty much it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it does work for your phone. It did work for uh, three of my phones. Well, my family. I don't have three phones. But uh, anyways, yep, yeah, that's it for me, guys, and I'll see you later.